Hi people, it's me, Anya. My pronouns are she and her. And welcome back to my channel for a new painting video. I haven't done a painting video all summer since like April, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm so excited to paint again and to document it. And also welcome back to like my childhood bedroom. I don't know why I said welcome back. I've never filmed in here before, partly because I have a roommate usually. And second of all, because I don't know why else. But I think before this year, I didn't film much inside, so I didn't really think about filming inside my bedroom like other booktubers do, you know what I mean? So yeah, welcome to my bedroom, it's a bit of a mess actually. But anyway, let's get started, let's get painting. So this is the color palette that I decided to use. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use these colors for, like I don't have a theme or anything like that. I just like rainbow, you know what I mean? So yeah, those are the rest of the colors that I'm not going to use. That's my palette. Let's get started. So I've started here with a purple corner. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to paint each corner a different color but like go in reverse rainbow order but i'm not sure how exactly they're all gonna meet in the middle i don't know if that makes any sense i love how i just said that i don't know what i'm going to do and then i proceeded to explain exactly what i think i'm going to do the thing is that i don't know how the execution is going to go but that's what painting is right you don't know but you find out so anyway there's that that's the first update. So I've just finished the first round. So there you have it. I know the yellow corner is a bit green. It looks a bit honeydew. I had a friend in college who had a call that was this color. And I remember complimenting it because I was like, it looks like honeydew, it's cute. And she was like, everyone says it looks like piss, which was funny to me. Anyway, so there we have it. Um, yeah, I just realized that with this pattern, that like which colors are going to contrast and like hit each other and like collide, you know what I mean? I haven't thought this fall in advance, but that's just me. I often don't think fall in advance, honestly, just in general, which is probably a red flag of mine. But anyway, we're not here to dissect my toxic traits, we're here to paint. So yeah, there's that. Hi, so I've finished the second round. The colors are starting to collide and hit each other. So that's fun. Honestly, painting reminds me of high school because when I was in high school, my favorite school subjects were art and history. And now as a college graduate, I've realized how fascinating it is, how art and history like intertwine you know what I mean? Like I was watching a Brittany Broski video the other day and she was talking about how like surrealism came out of World War One because like those artists went to war and they witnessed all these like unfathomable things. So that's how they created surrealism or something like that. I don't know. She explained it and articulated it so much better than I did. So I'll just link the video above. But basically I was thinking about how like, I wonder what kind of like art ailers are going to come out of the historical time periods that I'm living through now, like the pandemic. You know what I mean? I think that's so fascinating in the ways in which like media and stuff is depicted and how it like comes out of history is so fascinating. Like the ways in which cultural and media and history and art are so connected is so intriguing. I don't know. I don't know why it fascinates me particularly, but it just does. So anyway, there's that. So I've just finished the third round. It looks pretty good right now. And honestly, I'm pretty proud of it. So that's exciting. In other news, I was just thinking about how one of my favorite classes from college was media and pop culture because it really fueled my fascination or it started my fascination, like a fascination that I didn't know I had about how pop culture and media and history and everything are so intertwined. And it's just so fascinating and it's just so interesting as history continues to like repeat itself 
which isn't always necessarily a bad thing but anyway here we are now this is so good i'm so proud of myself i don't know if i'm going to be able to like complete the rainbow if you know what i mean but we'll see we'll see where it goes so i'm almost done with this painting like literally i've finished the fourth round of the pattern and then i have to close it up but basically while we're on the subject of like most influential classes that i took in college in terms of which ones i learned the most from i would definitely add textual analysis and post-colonial literature to that list because those two classes and the professor especially professors can truly make or break a class but anyway those two classes i learned about like analyzing literature and how fascinating that is because you know the relation in which like media and pop culture and history and art and like everything like intertwines so well together and it's so fascinating to me anyway prior to college i didn't enjoy analyzing literature because the answers were always like one size fits all but i learned through those classes that like if you have enough evidence to back it up your answers could be anything i don't know if that makes any sense but basically media literacy is so interesting to me and it's just so fascinating i don't know if that makes any sense at all but anyway here we are so since i'm finished with my painting and i feel really satisfied with it i'm going to show you the paint brushes that i used so for the most part i used this thicker one and then when i was retouching it at the end i used this thinner one so yeah there's that this one the bigger one is the one that i use typically most of the time historically in my other paintings if i'm not mistaken just because like okay i don't know why specifically i was drawn to it no pun intended but i think it's because it's the most like accessible for me when i was picking it so yeah that's the story that's my palette as i showed you earlier that's the red and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple the yellow i'm definitely running out of so i'm not sure if i'm gonna use that one again in any future painting videos so yeah if you're new to my channel sometimes i do these painting videos but not very often at all because obviously i want the focus of my channel to be booktube so yeah i'm not sure exactly when my next painting video is going to be but definitely not this long because the gap between this video and my last video i think was definitely too long so yeah anyway there's that before I show you the final product, I just wanted to let you know that the alt alas that I'm the most easily influenced by are the ones that I like the most, which like I love cubic alt, I love geometric alt, I love modulian, like there were so many cool like alt alas in the past that I have loved, as well as a bunch of other alt alas that I really really enjoy as well, like Rubenism. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not completely sure, but I can't quite replicate that. So when I'm painting, I try to draw from alt alas that I think that I can replicate, like cubanism and anything that has to do with like shapes and colors and stripes and stuff like that, like Modulian. I think that's how he was influenced, I don't know. I was just reading an article about how he influenced pop culture for the next century which i will definitely link in the description box below in case you're interested as well so anyway in conclusion this is my painting what do you think let me know i'm so happy with how it turned out like it looks so cool and just so awesome so yeah it's also so interesting that i started with this purple corner and then i went to blue and then green and then yellow so now in a sense it's like upside down from how i started if that makes any sense so anyway there's that i hope you like it so in conclusion painting is super therapeutic for me and i truly love it so much so there will definitely be more painting videos in the future but i'm not sure specifically when so anyway in other news, if you enjoy this video, please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below the watermelon emoji if you made it all the way to the end of the video. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!